In today's video, I'm going to share with you a story of a UK nurse, a UK registered nurse who has been struck off the NMC's register for forcefully administering medicine to a patient in the nursing care home. Welcome back. If you are new on my channel, I really appreciate you for being here for the first time. My name is Setako Ajima. You can simply call me Kobe. If you have not subscribed to this channel, hit the subscribe button right under this video and become part of the family we learn together. You know, I'm going to share with you a story of a nurse who has recently lost her NMC pin. Now it says that Murray nurse struck off for forcefully administering medicine to care home residents. A nurse at Forest Care Home who was found to force residents to take medication by holding their mouths closed has been struck off. You see, I think this nurse was just trying to exhibit that kind of caring quality, okay? That, I mean, sometimes if you are giving medication to your patients, it's not all the times that they don't take their medication. So as a nurse, you may want to endow in this kind of convincing, I mean, mode, just for them to take it. And this nurse went to the extreme of trying to open the mouth of these patients to put the medication in there. And then based on this act, she has lost her pain. So when you go to your patient to give your morning medication or probably whatever medication it is and he or she is not willing to have it, are you going to force it? Veronica Wallace was found to have forcefully administered medication while working at Carte Care Home. The home provides nursing care for up to 40 residents with a range of different care needs including dementia. As a result, her fitness to practice has been impaired following an investigation by the Nursing and Midwifery Council. So she has lost her pain because she forcefully, so the word here is forcefully administered. So when you go to your patient and she's not willing to have her medication, you don't force it, okay? Especially if they have the mental capacity, they've got the capacity, you don't force it. Miss Wallace submitted a voluntary removal application to the watchdog on January 19th and has accepted the allegations against her. And the other thing is that according to the report, she accepted the fact that she forced the medication into the mouth of this patient. And she has not worked as a nurse since December 2021. So now let's look at the charges that were leveled against her. The report details that on an unknown date, while working at a care home in Forest, the registered nurse was found to have forcefully administered medication or alternatively an unknown substance to a resident known as resident A. So an unknown substance. So they weren't even sure of the medication that was forced into the patient's mouth. Okay. She then poured water or an unknown liquid into resident A's mouth and used force to hold it closed. It's like you put the medication in the patient's mouth, you add water to it, expecting the patient to swallow and she is trying to bring it out. And this nurse forces the mouth to close so that she can have the medication go down the esophagus into the stomach. And then this action has caused her hair pain. And that is one thing that for me, I have stopped doing. When I came to the UK initially, I felt like, I mean, as a nurse, I have to be caring. I have to convince my patient at all costs to have their medications. But at the point, I realized that if I'm not very careful, and as much as I'm trying to do the best for the patient, I'll put myself in trouble. So if a patient tells me that I'm not willing to have my medication, what I have to say is that, especially if the patient has got the capacity, what I have to say is that, okay, let me know if you are willing to have it, okay? Investigators also found on one or more occasions she forcefully administered medications or known substances to residents. So I think it's something she's known for that if you are not willing to have your medication, you'll be forced to take it. You take it by force, whether you like it or not, okay? So I mean, this has caused her a lot. She also was found to shout and swear at residents, another child. Miss Wallace joined the NMC register as an adult nurse in 2002, so probably almost 20 years, 20 years, 21 years, 21 years ago, she joined the NMC register and worked as a registered nurse at Kati Care Home from 2017. So from 2017 to 2001 or 2002, it's probably like four years. Okay, so he worked for this care home for four years and had lost her pain. 
and that she communicated with them by shouting and even swearing. So you dare not say you won't have your medication. She will shout at you, she will swear, and then she will force you to have the medication. However, a witness told investigators that Miss Wallace shouted and swore at two residents in response to racist remarks they made against her. On February 18, 2019, the home's manager referred Ms. Wallace to NMC, who went on to investigate the concerns. So, it's the manager of the care home that reported her to NMC. So, sometimes your own people can send you there. So, just be careful. Ms. Wallace worked at Abbeyside Care Group in Elgin's Abbeville Nursing Home without further concern being raised about her practice. So, she's worked in the care home before. I mean, she worked perfectly fine. There was no allegations leveled against her. So why then did she have to change when she came to this care home? I mean, forest care home. And for me, I think her behavior change may be stemming from the fact that the residents were leveling some kind of, I mean, racial remarks against her and she had to retaliate. And her mode of retaliating was to either shout at you or swear. For me, I think sometimes you have to look at what the patient is saying against their medical condition. I mean, why are they saying that? Would they have said that if they were in good health? Sometimes their conditions force them to do what they do, okay? And as a nurse, you should be able to learn how to react to them. You can't control how they react to you or how they treat you, but you can control how you react to whatever actions they pose against you, okay? This is one thing that this nurse couldn't control. Probably the moment you make any racial remarks about her, she will either swear at you and then shout at you and eventually force you to take your medications. So apparently, looking at all the charges that were leveled against her, from forcefully administering medications to patient to swearing and then shouting at patient, she accepted the fact that her fitness to practice is And so, Ms. Wallace signed a declaration stating she would not reapply to the register for at least five years. So imagine that as a nurse, your only source of income is the salary you receive, okay, from the nursing job. And then here is the case, probably you have been struck off the NMC register. What this means is that you've got no pain at the moment. And as the report says, she is going to be off the register for at least five years. And, you know... How are you going to survive if the nursing profession was your mode of, I mean, getting income? Okay, how are you going to survive? That is why I always say that the nursing profession is not a secure job. Because, you know, even if you are not losing your pain, the hazards associated with the job can make you not fit to practice as a nurse. So, look at other side that says that the day, if you are not my nurse, you can probably rely on that to feed. And the advice I always give to myself is that probably I should take advantage of the nursing profession now. That... Probably whatever I'm getting from this profession, I can invest it and invest it so well. So around the day, if I'm no more a nurse tomorrow, I can get something to feed. And that is what I recommend for every nurse, okay? You don't know when your pain will be removed. You don't know when you'll be exposed to some hazard that won't permit you to practice as a nurse. So just prepare your future from today. So basically, this is the end of the story. And the question I'll ask you is that, what have you learned from here? What is the moral lesson in here? What have you extracted that on the day is going to help you in your practice as a nurse? Leave that in the comment section.